You can't see it. You can't hear it. But it protects every breath you take. Earth's magnetic field is like an invisible force field, deflecting solar flares, shielding us from cosmic radiation and keeping our atmosphere intact. But what if I told you that same shield might be responsible for the oxygen in our atmosphere too? And what if, like Mars, it could vanish? A 2025 study published in Science Advances dropped a bombshell. Over the last 540 million years, Earth's magnetic field and atmospheric oxygen levels have been rising and falling. Together. Yeah. Two systems we thought had nothing to do with each other. Totally in sync. It's like discovering that your lungs and your Wi-Fi have been working off the same power source all along. So how did scientists figure this out? They looked at ancient rocks, some over half a billion years old, preserved with little magnetic signatures, like geological time capsules. At the same time, they analyzed oxygen-sensitive elements in those layers, kind of like chemical fingerprints. And what they found, every time the magnetic field got stronger, atmospheric oxygen spiked. When the field weakened, oxygen dropped. Which means the invisible force field saving us from solar flares might also be responsible for the air we breathe. Let that sink in. So where does this magnetic magic come from? Deep beneath your feet, around 1,800 miles down, Earth has a spinning molten core made of iron and nickel. It's hot, like hotter than the surface of the sun. And as this liquid metal churns, it creates electric currents, which generate Earth's magnetic field. That's right. Our planet literally powers its own force field from within. This shield stretches far out into space, forming a giant magnetic bubble called the magnetosphere. It deflects high-energy particles from the sun, solar wind, radiation, and sometimes deadly solar flares. Without it, that energy would strip away our atmosphere, molecule by molecule. You'd be fried by radiation and the air. Gone. It's easy to forget it's even there, because we're used to it just working. But this study suggests it does more than protect us. It might be helping Earth breathe. Still not convinced the magnetic field is a big deal? Okay, let's take a field trip. To Mars. Billions of years ago, Mars had liquid water. Rivers, lakes, maybe even an ocean. And possibly, just possibly, life. But Mars lost something critical. Its magnetic field. Without that invisible shield, solar wind from the sun slammed directly into the planet, stripping away its atmosphere, evaporating its water, and erasing whatever chance it had for life to grow. Now, it's a cold, dry desert. No air, no shield, no second chance. What happened to Mars? Could happen to any planet, including ours, if the system ever fails. And as for building a breathable atmosphere on Mars, without a magnetic field, we might just be filling up a balloon with a hole in it. So, could what happened to Mars ever happen here? Well, Earth's magnetic field isn't static. It shifts. It weakens. Right now, there's a strange zone called the South Atlantic Anomaly, where the field is significantly thinner. So thin, it affects satellites. And scientists have noticed that our magnetic field has been gradually weakening over the past couple centuries. Now, that doesn't mean we're doomed. But it does mean we should start paying attention. Because if Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere really are connected, like this new study suggests, then messing with one could eventually destabilize the other. So maybe 
Understanding Earth's magnetic field isn't just about predicting solar storms or digging into the past. It's about respecting a deeper intelligence woven into the planet itself. Stay curious, stay bold, and never stop questioning. Because that's how progress begins. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us next time on Misty Q Time.